that is exactly what the Infinix Buds sound like. Budget earphones with crazy bass. Let me explain. context, the Infinix XE21 earbuds cost $40 and in my country where I'm from, Nigeria, it costs 18,000 naira depending on where you buy it from. And for that budget price, I didn't have any grand expectations as to how well it would perform. But after three months of using this little guy, let's just say I'm surprised. And before I convey my surprise to you, please smash that subscribe and like button. It helps us make quality content like this for you. My Infinix Buds came in white, which unfortunately cannot hide dirt, but it looks elegant and presentable. The case is glossy and mine already has battle scars all over it. The buds themselves have a matte finish and it's quite resistant to any form of daily abuse. As for how comfortable they are to use, well, my ears are kind of big, so they fit in quite nicely didn't fall off while walking or running and aren't terrible when used for a long time. Notice I said not terrible, doesn't mean they're great either. Good thing is there's extra tips included inside the box so you've got options. Pairing the Infinix Buds with either Android or an iPhone is a straightforward task. They work quite well without any issues. However, the best feature only works on Android and that feature is game mode. Game mode basically reduces latency, aka the time it takes to hear a game effect, to 60 milliseconds. To give an idea how low this latency is, the more expensive Galaxy Buds Live takes 479 milliseconds to receive audio while gaming. Why? This is an advantage not only for games, but for movies and general media consumption, but only on Android, unfortunately. On the other hand, both Android and iOS users get to enjoy the crazy bass the Infinix Buds have to offer and I'm talking brain-busting, mind-bending, bone-shattering bass. Out of the box, the bass output is very punchy and overwhelming. Heck, it's written on the box just so you know what you're getting. For me though, the bass is too much. I have sensitive ears. In order to get a softer, more balanced sound, what I did was tweak my phone's EQ a little bit and it resulted in something much, much pleasant. That's because Infinix says it uses a graphene diaphragm to help deliver superior sound quality. I've noticed the bass doesn't get distorted at higher volumes. That still allows for pleasant mids and highs, so that's a good one. Keep in mind this thing costs less than $40 and the sound you're getting here is better than some more expensive earbuds. That's what I call value for your money. Another surprisingly good thing about the Infinix Buds is the battery life. They may be cheap but they last longer than my Galaxy Buds live. Hmm. And that's mostly because they don't have to deal with active noise cancellation and other numerous features. It's basically bare bones earphones and it focuses on the listening experience first and foremost. Infinix says the buds will last 7 hours on a charge and will go 35 hours with the case. I listen to both music and podcasts at least 4 hours every day and they last a whole week on a single charge. Utilizing USB-C for charging, the case charges quite fast and is compatible with my numerous USB-C chargers. So in conclusion, I hope I've been able to convince you and not confuse you on how good the Infinix Buds are. Out of the box, the bass can be overwhelming, but with a few tweaks on your device EQ, it delivers smooth, balanced sound and long-lasting battery life on a budget. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.